Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. All right, welcome back, guys. Oh, <laughs> shit. My bad. Yo. Um, greetings, greetings, greetings. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Also, all of that. If you want mm-hmm. a drink, um, if you drink, take a shot, tequila, all that, Patron. Mm-hmm. The next one, when they like drink, no ideas. What name? Casamigos. Casamigos. I never have Casamigos yet. It's smooth. Okay, hot girl. Okay, I've never I like had tequila. Oh, wait, 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 next one, name. Never had that like that. Wait, next one, name. The the the, the expensive one, and the azul. Wait, next one, name. Nineteen forty two and the azul. Yeah, yeah, them sitting there. Me, mm-hmm. nah. Uh-uh. Wait, name. Um, That's the rocks good. tequila is really smooth. Really. Yeah, that shit's smooth. I don't, like, oh, dangerously like, smooth. That's me goes, like, like getting too bent. Like, deception bent? smooth, yeah. Mm-mm. Uh, well, summertime, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or a wild night, maybe. <laughs> but, no, it's funny you um mentioned that. What name? Fashion over. Nope. Send out a text. But are you DTF? Down to Fiesta. Excuse That's me. So hilarious. Uno rank. Down to Fiesta. <laughs> so I said, are you DTF? Um. Okay. Down to fucking Fiesta. <laughs> exactly. Like, first of all, mm-mm. are you down to fucking Fiesta? I want to know who is in their marketing team because <laughs> it's funny they have something they the emails and text messages. Yeah, they don't stick, boy. The emails on Twitter when they be posting on. Like, mm-hmm. Fashion over sent me. Or they be petty mm-hmm. as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I peep. Yeah. Okay. So Mm -hmm. welcome back everybody like we said um thanks for tuning in i know we're a little bit late with this episode my bad dog um all i'm gonna say is menstruation is a bitch what was that florida all over you my bad dog (laughs) okay but um yeah you know life happens and shit but we here it's the same week we're present so for you real, know. I was about to say tomorrow's still Friday. Exactly. Like, this is dropping on a Friday. So, on a lucky. Exactly. Um, so, you can ride this off into the weekend. Boom. Mm-hmm. And on that note, um, for those who don't know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. I don't know what so, I thought you were huh? I don't know what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the next one. It's also Masturbation Awareness Month. I but, mean, that's the one. <laughs> Cool. But it's both. Um, but you know, I mean, be gentle, be kind to people. For your mental health. Ex- exactly. You know, oh, you might need to rub one out for a little peace of mind. Who knows? I, <laughs> I didn't make the rules. Oh no, you just followed them, right? So, <clears throat> so yeah, I heard. Yes. I heard what Pointless said. Go ahead and masturbate for your yeah. mental health this month. Mm-hmm. All in the name of mental health, lower both. Of yep. Listen, post nut clarity is a real thing. It might save you from sending a text message you don't need to send, or backtrack into an unhealthy like situation. Me. Be like me, go take a nap. Listen, all that to it. Listen, girl. that might help you sleep if you have sleeping problems. You know, this is well. That's true. So, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to um, anybody that's struggling though with their mental health. I think. Yes, After seriously. Everything we've been dealing with. Hmm. In life in general, on top of the last two years, on top of everything else. Facts. facts. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, you know. Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um so I kinda wanted to talk about like since it is oh, mental God. health awareness month, like um, I don't even know how the conversation comes up. All this should be triggered by like shit I see on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. But like there is somebody saying something about like being um like after being strong for so long, allowing yourself to be soft is really hard. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm coming to that point in my life where like I don't wanna be a gangster no more. <laughs> ah. Like, you know. Like, I, I, I want to be paid and shit. And like, mm. yeah. 
But <laughs> that shit is freaking hard. Like, cause is that like, the vibe you're giving off? Huh? Is that the vibe you're giving off? What do you mean? That you don't want to be a gangster anymore? I don't know <laughs> if I'm giving off that vibe, <laughs> quote unquote. But like within myself, like I feel like every day it's like a, it's something that I have to be conscious of, like to not be on the defense, to not be like aggressive or whatever the fuck it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like being aware of like, how I'm carrying myself, how I'm like thinking about things, how I'm responding to things because mm-hmm. like, huh? That's it. Mm-hmm. So like, it's just like, that shit is rough. Cause it's like, dog, like I've been like, I'm not to say like, it's not me. It's just like, it's legit. It's a defense mechanism. It's a trauma response because y'all bitches suck. So, you know, it's kind of like having to be like everything for myself mm-hmm. and then kind of like, Coming to a point where, like, I want someone to assist. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, uh, like, can I trust you with this? <laughs> like, That's can I really let this wall down and open up and let somebody That's in? What it is, doesn't it? Like, being oh, shit. Child. It's about, apparently. Mm. <laughs> Listen. Apparently. Coming from. Coming from <laughs> where we. <laughs> Coming from where we coming from, you know, it's a bit different it on top rough. of being, okay, I'm a black woman, you mm. know, I'm a strong black woman, this, everything else, trauma, things we've been through, our families, the culture, mm-hmm. all these things, it's not really time for you to step off and really put your guard down and be like, all right, not today. No. Yes. Like, I want to be soft and let the world nurture me. Like, it's no. different because- we're the mm-hmm. ones nurturing everyone and we're the ones making sure everyone is okay and making sure that things are running the way it's supposed to. Like that shit is tiring. I don't, don't want to do that no more. I, I see. Yeah. This, I, yeah. I'm like half and half. Like, I don't like, mind. yes, I but I think like, I don't mind because at the end of the day, it's like, I trust myself more than I trust anybody. Else. Exactly. You know so it's like, but there's like that time where you just want to be like, okay, let me, let me get in this passenger seat real quick mm-hmm. it's just, just a little bit you ain't gotta do it all the time just a little bit because i'm i'm cool i could do that for myself yes obviously but mm-hmm. this is how i got this you know got where i am yeah. but it's just like eh, just a little bit a little yeah because like dog i mean you want to carry me for how long like that's what i'm saying but sometimes you don't want to hold my hand front. just <laughs> hold the hand the you do little by little like yes don't just give the whole hand here's the pinky Sometimes uh, you can manage the pinky. After if I feel like you can manage the pinky, I'll give you more hands. You give it up exactly. Four and hands, hmm. four fingers. <laughs> yeah. So. Listen, good point. And it's so Private. funny because like I'm one of those people where it's like I hate when like you know we can double back down to um love languages, right? Mm-hmm. Acts of service is not one of my love languages because I have always been like mm, I got it. But mm-hmm. I feel like as I'm getting older, there might be a couple percentages that done slipped that into that. I'm trying to tell you about the backs of service, nigga. <laughs> and then also, like, words of affirmation. That has never been my thing because at the end of the day, like, if you're not showing me, I really don't give a fuck what you're saying. Like, I promise is a comfort to a fool. I don't care what you're saying. Like, what are you actually doing? Me personally. Me I personally. Like, but this is why the love languages are different. Exactly. Because you can show somebody the whole time mm-hmm. and they can be blind as fuck. Yeah. And they might not see that. They might be like, oh, they're just being nice. Like, if you don't actually say to them, exactly. te, they won't actually take into account what you're doing and the reason you're doing I it. At some point in your life, after you get to a certain point and been through a, a bunch of things, you start to learn that all the love languages, you like a piece of every single last one of them. Mm-hmm. Let's just be honest. There's different yeah. days. Like, I don't want physical touch today. I don't want no access service today. I want words today. Like, that's what's going to do it for me. And you have <laughs> Tell me I look good, bitch. Exactly. I feel sad today. Just like, I don't want to talk about anything. I just want to cuddle. Mm-hmm. I just want to have physical touch. Or not even no that. Love. Quality like, time. I might just want to be in your space. I might not even want you to that's touch me. Saying. Just want to see you. That is well. Exactly. That's why I'm like, I love quality time. is definitely a big one for me. Like, yes. I can be doing whatever the hell I'm doing. And you in the same room and doing whatever the hell you doing. I love that for us. This like, is why you're my twin because like, please same. Go do something with yourself while I'm sit doing on over there, sir. Me, me can't see you, and that's it. Like, that's it. let me do my word search or look at my chart. <laughs> do something, you know. You shop for whatever yes. you're doing and whatever. And <laughs> but it's also like 
being with a person and y'all got to really get to know that because Mm -hmm. you got to think about it before all this love language shit people was just like i don't know i like this and i like that and now Mm -hmm. you're putting it like oh shit there's actual languages you are right Mm -hmm. i really do like this kind of thing i like i love when Mm -hmm. you do that for me Eh, this is okay i don't know i feel like every time i take it my shit change every time mine always changes but like i said my majority percentage has always been physical touch and quality time like it's always been yeah touch me yeah yeah i'm like a newborn i like skin to skin touch me feel me up yeah but you you know what's funny though (laughs) you know what's funny like even with physical touch it doesn't even have to be like quote-unquote intimate it could literally be like my legs resting on your lap Mm -hmm. or like your hand just on my shoulder or like just like just sitting next to each other and touching like you don't even have to be like feeling up for real for real like just feeling that person's warmth is enough for me that's nice i like that like 60 percent of the time like (laughs) times get off me just yes, of course. Move. Back it up just a Hot. little bit. And it's not that I don't love you. This, you know, <laughs> or anything like that. It's just like today, please, like I'm cool with us being in a room. We talking. Mm-hmm. We're, e- we're even saying lovey-dovey things. It's mm-hmm. not all the time I need you to be on me. Like I. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. mine is definitely quality time and then physical touch. Like, quality but both is- of them are like. What's the list of there. them? How they go? What's the it's list? quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation, acts of service, and um, gifts. Receiving yeah, gifts. Yeah, the gifts. Eh. See, I'm sentimental. That's why the gifts are like, mm, for me, I think that's like I'm a 10% on mine. Is, yeah, so, like, stuff. it don't have like, to be. You say gifts and bitches be like, I love gifts. Gifts, 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 yeah, gifts. Yeah, no. Like, okay. Shut up, ho. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, no, I love it. Yeah, buy me a Birkin. Bitch, can you buy no. yourself a Birkin? <laughs> Do you have money to put in a burger? You love your cell phone? Like, come on. <laughs> like, simple things to me. Like, listen, buy me a pack of scrunchies because, bitch, my hair be popping them things all the time. I would be ecstatic. About it's like that. this thing I do, right? I've done it since the beginning of me and Big Mama being together, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-huh. Big Mama, little daddy. That's how it goes. Mm-hmm. So. The thing I always do, right? And I think she appreciates That's about to be the name of the episode. (laughs) I hate you. I hate you. And every time I go to the store, Mm -hmm. some chips or a soda. Right, or the worms. Or like Mm -hmm. a Coke. I always always get her Mm -hmm. a Coke. Like a little Coke. I know. Right. Every time you know. Exactly. Even Even when she pissed me off. Even hey, when. I want you to know this nigga be rolling her eyes in the store, picking this shit up. Talk about some. <laughs> I guess I'm like, <laughs> listen, pissed off. Like you're getting from my nose right now. <laughs> but I know that she appreciates it, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like that. It's all about sentiment because yeah, she'll like, like she'll get me something or she'll do something, and I'm just like, man, I even all <laughs> felt like that today. Well, thank you, like mm-hmm. access service get me because like. Mm-hmm. Cause you're you know. a Leo Jamaican man, <clears throat> as well, and as well, talk is cheap though, right? <laughs> talk is cheap, ain't it? Mm-hmm. But sometimes people don't like me. Sometimes I don't have. Sometimes I don't know how to express myself a lot mm. of the time, and I'm not sure of what to say. So sometimes my only way of doing it is to show, like, yes. do something or care. Oh, let's Can talk about this. this. Oh, let's God. unpack this okay because why are fell. we unpacking why are because we unpacking we are own, growing bro. okay we, we are growing <laughs> so like you just said about like not being able to express yourself and stuff like that i think i mentioned before like growing up you know growing up caribbean kids are to be seen not heard you know what i'm saying everything is way out of alpha. you're not really supposed to answer it like oh. there's a lot of unhealthy Yep. Habits that we have all been subjected to, and some of y'all are instilling it on y'all kids. I need y'all to do better. But you know, I'm saying there's a lot of things that like shuns the voice of a child that we experienced growing up. And a lot of the Mm -hmm. times it's kind of like, and it's with everybody. I shouldn't even say just Caribbean, um, because sometimes like non-Caribbean people also like you don't you're not able to express yourself so right. you end up acting out or you end up doing yep. something to get the attention or to get the result or to get something yeah. that you want listen i was a I used to be a terrorist i was a terrorist after listen, a while in my house and because i was I and i was hmm. stuck in the closet halfway so there was a lot going on yeah and see me personally me i was you know quiet um straight a damn near student I was on an honor roll every semester until I realized that 
I wasn't getting the attention that I wanted, the attention that I was used to because of culture change and moving and parents and da 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 da. And I was just like, bitch. Really? Well, this shit don't matter anyways. And I just start slacking off, going to class late, missing class, like coming home with C's on my report card. Excuse me, what? (laughs) Like conduct grades drop, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, Mm -hmm. and it's not even that I can't say it. You just feel like you can't say it. So it's kind of like, whatever, there's no point. So me, like I said, I've been journaling since I was like nine. Mm -hmm. For me, even in a relationship now to this day, like I am more comfortable texting my person how I feel. I'm trying to get away from that because not everybody right. receives that well. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I used to write letters back in the day and stuff like that. So, like, I'm very much that's amazing. easy I'm for me. Texter. Oh text. yes. Like, when you're beside me sleeping, I'm gonna wake up one o'clock and I want and I'm a can't like, sleep and a dip on my chest. Yeah. Yes. Like, let you me gonna go wake up to paragraphs. Exactly. I like that. Like, let me go listen. And text while you sleep, or, and then I can go to sleep when you wake up. I ain't gotta sleep. Mm-hmm. I react. Mm-hmm. I don't have to deal with it. Oh my gosh. Yes. The anxiety. Yes. I can't do it. I'd be like, let me get this off right here. Boop, boop, boop. Mm-hmm. Put it down. Go to sleep. That- Listen, you know how much time I text and put people on do not disturb? No, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm, that's no, the I'm, one. Mm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Might even lock off the phone. I don't want to know when you read it. I don't want to know when. You, no, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't, just, yep. just name it. Don't. Mm-mm. But that's a big thing because like, even with that, dating someone whose love language is words of affirmation, that's hard for me because growing up, you know, parents don't usually like congratulate you unless it's like something huge. Mm -hmm. But if you do something bad, of course, even if it's the smallest thing, they're going to tell you. So that's translated into my life where it's like, if there's nothing wrong, I'm not saying anything. anything. I'm not congratulating you. I'm not, you know, like at most I might be like, oh, you look good today. But like, just like a random, like, I appreciate you, blah, blah, blah. Like that has been like, "Mm," I, for me, I have became a mush. So it's like every 10, half an hour, I'm like, appreciate you or love you. Mm-hmm. Or I'm always, and you know me, I'm like cheerleader president. Yes. So, you know, I'm always like, oh, and I call her like my special flower. And I'm like, you're so pretty. <laughs> and like I marijuana? Her, and, and I, yeah, big old admirer. And I'm like, oh, you're so pretty and all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't easy because like, I think I realized maybe in other relationships, I'm like, when you look back, I'm like, damn, like, mm-hmm. I really was saying shit to you, huh? Like, what, mm-hmm. what, bigging you up. like, And then you has- only say something when something is wrong. It kind of like, mm, I have in strides, like in the past couple of years being single, like in like dating or whatever, like I have made conscious efforts to make sure that like I do that. Because for some odd reason, the last three or so people I've like, paid attention to Mm. their love language has been words of affirmation i'm like lord what are you trying to tell me like are you forcing me to like like open up like and i also think that with us and the culture we know that people can say anything Mm -hmm. like people can say and will say anything yes you you just be like Okay. Mm-hmm. Like okay, people say and talk anything at any time. Like people have most to them chat. This is what I'm saying. Like people sit here and apologize, right? This Ooh, is why I don't don't don't, not, don't don't do that. This is why I don't believe in shit. People will be like, okay, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, like it kind of just go off my back. I don't. That's why I don't request apologies. I don't really care for them. If Listen. you do not feel like you have done something wrong, truly, please do not apologize to me because I really didn't care and I don't. I didn't ask for it. I don't want it. I don't ask for apologies like that. Unless you really, really hurt my feelings and I feel like you were trying to come at me, go ahead and apologize. But I don't hold a grudge for an apology. Because yeah. to mm-hmm. me, you're going to give it to me and it's not going to be sincere. And I don't Listen, want to. I know it's harsh, but I always used to say, don't be sorry, ho, be better. That too. Because at the end of the day, like, you can tell me anything like you said, but you're going to sit here and say, sorry, 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 and do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Some people are insane. I ain't going to hold yeah. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been the definition slightly, of I've been slightly insane in a time or two. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm I don't like. Insane. Listen, you know what's like funny? You trying to work on it. It's like you trying to work on something. And sometimes I'd rather you say you're trying to work on it. Don't say I'm sorry. I'm never gonna do that again. Okay, well, no, no, no. I'm. With you. <laughs> I will be like, I am trying. I am. Yes. Working. I won't just be like, 
man, I got this. I ain't going to do that shit again. Yeah, that's no, no, no. I, no don't lie to me. That's a promise is a comfort to a fool. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, this is it. Like, we ain't, I ain't never going to do this again. I'm <laughs> human and full of error like everybody else. Exactly. Like, I'm going to piss you off again. Like, let's not play this. <laughs> how, we, how we work that out, though, we can exactly. figure out. Like, mm-hmm. Yes, because every day we are learning and we are growing. So I'm not even going to sit here and try to hold nobody to nothing. But, like, don't tell me nothing you don't mean. Me, personally, words of affirmation is not my thing. But I take words very seriously when it comes to, like, you telling me you're going to do something or telling me something. Because I'll be like, bruh, like, especially when I didn't ask you to. That's Mm -hmm. the thing that be fucking with me. Like, if I ask you to do something, you'd be like, oh, I'm about to da 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 Mm -hmm. And then you don't. I'm just like... What was the point of you lying to me? Like, not lying. is it lying? Why did you do that? Why did is you do that? Like, if somebody said, "Hold on," like but, some, what is, but what is the reason this thing has happened? Not to say, is there like a reason? Like, but like something dumb, emotional. like, I like check me out, like something simple, like, "Oh, we going out this weekend." Okay, something like that. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, like, "Oh, we finna, like, we about to da da da," like, mm-hmm. like something that's an actual act, not like you okay. know. I'm okay. going to grow exponentially right now. But like, a, you right. know, like dumb shit. And it's just like, mm-hmm. why? What was the purpose? I'm never asking for that. Like, <laughs> they, I mean, in their mind, they had the, I guess it's the, it's, in, I mean, we're all, I mean, I've been guilty of that. I guess it's the, I have the intention of doing it. And I don't know if something happens that maybe, I don't, that's why I was saying, I don't know the circumstances. But which if that's the case though, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if something happened or communicate that if something comes up be like hey babe i know i said xyz or a dog i know i said blah 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 but this came up or whatever we gonna have to reschedule or it's not gonna Mm -hmm. happen or whatever i'm very big on like communicating especially like in relationships like especially romantic relationships like if y'all don't um live together so you're not actually seeing the person's day-to-day life or whatever the case is it's kind of like i don't have nothing to go on but your word so it's kind of like okay WTF? Yeah, you like you're not seeing somebody, but yeah, exactly. You somebody, you kind of like, okay, I can already see that that's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. 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 Mm-hmm. Or you get to the point where you're in a relationship, you like, we ain't doing that, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I just want to agree that that that's a duck. Okay, that's cool. Kind of cool, like cool. you like gotta get to that shit. point though, where you like exactly. Hey, you said we was. Yeah, but uh, scratching my head, I think maybe. Okay, listen. I'm cool with how that. much times me and the twins it. supposed to go to Rum Punch Brunch, and we all say we go in, and then we how listen. About? I ain't got to that damn place. Yet. Listen, I just Hold want on, you to you know. Still go this weekend, though, I think. I think. Okay. <laughs> I had got the email. I looked at it, and I was like, mm, "This look interesting." Okay. I said no. I said Giselle's supposed to be there, but um, yeah. Oh my, yeah. my opinion's been. Mhm. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm child. Listen, <laughs> ain't got time. It's like, huh? we, we fell into this pretty pretty solid. Like you fed up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <You fed> up? <laughs> yeah. 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 We fell into this hard oh, like. Mm. Y'all right? Not even fed up, but more like done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm at a point, like I said, in my life where I'm all for gentleness and the softness. And I want to be... Let me turn <sighs> off, though. Uh, please. No. Please no, no. Because I don't need... No. Don't be no 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 because at the end of the day like how i'm saying i'm done right now yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know who the, you talking to i don't know who you think you're talking to <laughs> like it's still no, at mush, the end of the day it's mush, like mush. yeah i'm not i'm also not interested in like asking people for shit too many times like if i ask you for something one time okay if I ask you the same it, thing second like, time uh, all right what you mean like uh all I ever really ask for is communication in real life. Oh, That's okay. literally all I ever ask people for is open line of communication. That's it. Be honest with me. All, all right. right. Okay. And do you know for what the issue is and why the person cannot communicate? I'm just asking. Lack of effort. People like to use, oh, I suck at communicating as an excuse to feed people shit. Okay. And... Um, I am of the belief that if you want to, you will. 
if, if it's something as simple as communicating something as simple as communicating well, if you want to you but will that's the thing ain't it it's not simple to everyone even if it's just a hey there's something out there's something in the world that's out there that's not simple for you right that might be simple for somebody else right mm-hmm. but it's also people have habits okay and i'm i pay attention to habits mm mm-hmm. mhm so when things change, I usually give it grace. Okay. I then also inquire when okay. I see that it is Are something. You also like a zoom inner, like if something changes, it's like, oh, I caught it. No, not like instantly, like, oh my God. Nah. Okay. Okay. Like, you no. have, like, I give change, I have like, patience. Oh yeah. I just be like, hmm. Like I'm the type of person, like, I'm gonna ask you if everything is okay before I switch to what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. because I know myself. Mm-hmm. sometimes I'd be like man fuck everything and I don't want to talk to nobody mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and I am completely okay with that like I'm completely okay with that have somebody saying, well, well that's not good you should be able to communicate do not shut down because I have people that do that to me when I get mm-hmm. into a place where I'm just like okay listen I cannot do this right now I can't communicate when it's too loud around me mm. who child and when I do not feel like to me, with everything I've been through, I can't, when I don't feel safe in that room in that moment, mm-hmm. I am shut down and there's nothing you can do mm-hmm. to tell me nothing. I don't care how mad it gets you. Like, mm-hmm. I need to make sure I'm okay and my, like, my anxiety is going through the roof. I'm ready to have mm-hmm. an anxiety attack. But then you have people who are just like, okay, well, I don't care about that. Like, I need you to talk to me. Like, what the fuck did you, like, and just yeah. find somebody that understands your shortcomings or Mm-hmm. Things you need to work on and has patience with them. Don't find nobody that got no patience for you, but want you to have mm-hmm. all the patience in the world for them. That's, that's that that right there. Be the there. You go. Thing. You want all the patience in the world for me. You ain't got none for me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. Yep. And I'm horrible because I know people are like, oh yeah, close my soul, get fed, and I literally will leave things alone until I'm like, okay, nah, like what the fuck, like. Yeah. One whole week, we got weird shit happening. I'm I all like right, serve, bitch. I like a. Oh I yes, like a that's what I'm saying. Service. I just sit and watch. I like to see what's happening, and I don't like to say, I say nothing. Something. Mm-hmm. And I just don't say nothing. People don't even know I know what's going mm-hmm. on. I'm not even saying shit. Mean. Not even being like, weird. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just continue to let you think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because who laughs last, laugh best. Listen, and yeah, just wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. Why is my brother texting me 50 million messages? Oh, my hey, gosh. Yes. My God. My God. My I God. am recording my, my podcast, man. <laughs> Leo season coming up. Stay tuned. Anyway. It sure is. <laughs> this man really sent me six text messages just now, like, being annoying. June, July, August. Wait, my birthday coming up? Up. Uh, wait a minute. It's the 5th of May. Wait a minute. Cinco de Mayo. Mm-hmm. I feel like I just turned 30. Wait a minute. Like two seconds ago. <laughs> this last year breezed by though. No cap. Because I was thinking like, yo, next month makes a year since I've been here. Like in a month and nine days, I've been here a year. Well, no, a month and less than that. Because a month and nine days is when I started my job. Mm-hmm. So, like, a month and five days? Yeah, we've been here for a month, a year now. We wrapped about a year and, like, three months yeah. now. Almost three, a year and three months. Crazy. <laughs> Remember okay. I told you? Did you what? see my um my text in the group chat about you following uh, my little sister I on Instagram? <laughs> my brother said he you just gave her a lecture that. about her skin showing because I said, my girl, a hot girl. This is going to want party. Girl. When I look, when I look up, it's a battery rider. Okay, I was like, "Yo, excuse me." I was like, "Hmm, say what?" Like. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> so, so give me a quote on that so I could tell her. Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you are yo. You having a laugh right now? Because it's hilarious to me. Because I'm like, dog. We were 17 at one point. I'm not about to sit here and act holier than thou and be like, oh, my gosh, you should not be wearing... Listen, the amount of cleavage I was showing when I was that age. I'm not about to sit here and act like... When you was that age? That's the, Hold on, hold on. When you was that age? 
when I was 17? Yes. I was going to say that. That's not you. I see you today when I was swipe, swipe, swiping. Oh, yeah. But I'm talking about <laughs> at that age. Social media <laughs> album. I was like, wait. I was like, wait, who this? I'm an adult. I was like, it's my friend, Titi Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yes, like mm. I ain't got time. I really don't. I'm not about to sit here and be like, "Oh, don't wear that," and "Oh, don't do this." Oh, and don't people, do. Once they get older, they start to look down on the stuff that they used to do and be like, "Now nah, you can't do that," but you did that exactly. Like, like I rather smoke. know that but you're safe. Forever. Like, listen, you can't have sex, but you have me. Like when you're like terror. Listen. I don't know. <laughs> you ain't never been married. And how many kids you got? Don't talk about what people should or should be doing. Whoa. Oh, speaking of. Oh, no, no. I really don't want to talk about this. Honestly. I know, you, I know exactly where you're going, but you might as well go ahead. <sighs> Put it out the way. Okay. Yes. So the yes. other day, I'm minding my business, right? And. You're going to talk about how America is not that girl? What, yes was it twitter i saw it on first or instagram i think it was instagram i saw it on first i don't remember what the um post said all i saw was roe v wade and i was like when i tell you i had a flashback okay for those who don't know high school i studied legal and public affairs law was my concentration throughout all four years of high school so law hmm. I wanted to be a lawyer at one point in my life. Mm -hmm. Swiftly, swiftly realized that was not the life for me. Mm -hmm. But I still had to participate because that was a magnet I was in, blah, blah, blah. I had to stick with it or I would just have to withdraw from school and try again, whatever. So the perks of this, we learned some fun things about the American legal system. Yay. Um, one of the most controversial words, one of the most <laughs> controversial topics we had, obviously, was about abortion. We learned about Roe versus Wade and, you know, that it basically um, protects a woman's constitutional right to choose whether or not she wants to have an abortion. It protects the right so that she can make that decision if she so chooses. Um of course, the conversation kept coming up. Every time we had like a debate, people kept wanting to bring that up because there was one part of the classroom that was pro-life, the other part that was pro-choice. And I had to write a paper on it. So did I. I had to write many, many, many uh, think pieces mm. on it. And um, it listen, and to this day, I will never understand why it is that people are so stuck on taking that decision away from women like why why would you want to take that choice away from a woman and i hate the argument of oh well you know if it's rape or if it's incest or whatever then you know that's the only time it's okay what Y'all know how many times shit happens? Don't give me that, oh, God has a plan. If, if you used a condom and it burst, then that was God's plan. No, baby. Ew. No. No. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not. Because, no. Um, listen, man. This is the same place. This is the same world, should I say, that wants to get rid of people because of who they love. And because how they choose to live their lives. I expect nothing. Like, I don't expect a damn thing. Anybody mm -hmm. could get it. Women can definitely get it. Have been getting it since the beginning of Women time. are at the bottom of the barrel. Exactly. In this and then a black woman is at is is the bottom. Do y'all know the mortality rate for black women in um like giving in labor? Like, do y'all know like how high of a risk it is for black women to get pregnant I and do not know the give birth? Honestly. like google it i don't have the exact numbers but it's high the mortality rate is high for black women first of all hospital births at the end of the day it's a business they don't give a fuck about you the person giving birth okay the half the time they don't care about you actually having a healthy and happy delivery they just want the baby out and you to pay the bill Legit. that's it and then you're you're a bed that they need to fill and remove because at the end of the day you're taking up space for someone else to be there if you go into a hospital before it's time for you to give birth like naturally your body is ready they will force you into labor mm -hmm. you know what kind of stress that puts on the baby and on the mother like don't yep. <laughs> whoa don't that's do that it's water birth like 
listen, right? Like, get a doula, go do water birth if your body yeah, permits. Like, if your body permits. Like, obviously, I, I you pray, know, there's I some people. Does, listen, I, every I, day, I, I I'm just leave, like, bro. I leave room for no doubt with that. I go straight in that mindset. Yes. Like, ain't no way else. Nothing but a water Exactly. Birth That's all I see. I think, you know, it's funny. I think about, like how my mom's delivery of me was like how she literally said it was like one, two, three, the doctor looked on one side. I was like, all right, now push. She pushed and whoops, me come out. Mm. Right. And I'm just like, I hope I wish I pray. I am knocking on wood. The universe, please bless me with something that's wonderful. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Down and they could not, oh, me. That they had to cut my ass out. Well, damn stubborn. Hello. Uh, <laughs> but like I'm saying though, like if you have the capability to, and it is, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? I've been in a group chat with a woman before somebody who was actually at the hospital, right? Her water mm -hmm. broke and we're telling her like, bro, don't go to the hospital yet. Wait until your contractions are like however many mm -hmm. seconds apart, whatever, whatever, before you go, keep your bag ready. Just be ready. Have somebody on call to like take you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Of course, first baby they weren't sure we're not doctors okay listen i know some people how much pick them in all? like i know people who have babies like literally mm -hmm. damn near every year for the last 15 years okay it's a thing so, though it's it's especially yeah, I know. First one, it's like mm -hmm. freaking out and like oh my gosh what if i do this yeah. wrong what if the baby don't come out right suppose the baby don't want to come out what am i supposed to do is the baby just going down you know what i mean it's a lot maybe i'm crazy well, Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like my body is going to do what it's supposed to do if I don't feel any discomfort. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't feel any discomfort, I feel like that's it's going to do... Because... Well, in general, because I feel like my body is going to heal itself no matter what. Of course, sometimes you might need a little help. Look at ginger tea, oh, on, you know? I said, hold on now. Okay, at any time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the most part, of course, there's things that you can do to help or enhance and whatever. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I feel like the human body, if you take care of it the way you're supposed to, if you nourish it and things of that nature... And, you know, if you have... Seven yeah. out of ten times. Seven yes. out of ten times. Because you yes. got people that have been taking care of their body all day long. Yeah. And still if something there's no, like, ailments, out. like, you know what I'm saying? No outstanding ailments, of yeah. course, you know? Yeah. But, like, if you're a fully functioning, normally, quote-unquote, healthy person, I feel like your body's going to do what it's supposed to do to make sure that you're okay. Not right? Not people that have been doing this all their life and then drop dead. Listen, life funny. <laughs> life funny, body. Body ain't safe you then. No, <laughs> shit, no, no, let me stop. You know, I got bad humor, but I'm just. Oh, gosh. Body I should be laughing at it. this. But I'm just saying, you know how shit be happening nowadays. Nowadays mm -hmm. is weird. People just be boop nowadays. You be like, wow, yeah. I thought this person was whatever. And then you look around. Oh, I heard they died. Like, how? Everybody blaming everything on COVID. Oh. But well. either way. Yes. Like, I feel like it is very inconsiderate and very asinine. Like, I don't even know. Like, it's so heinous. It's like, it's such a, like, it's so horrible. Like, why would you take that right away from woman? And like, and it's not even like, I saw a post that was, and it's so true. You're not banning abortions. You're banning safe abortions because they still got to do it. I just don't need women to be going back to these alleys again and you know, but you know if again. That's listen, what desperate about the shit. Desperate times. And every and y'all see, I don't want not y'all. Not y'all. Sorry. People they, just people just be out here getting pregnant at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking back to high school. Like whew, high school, yo. If you know, you know, and you went to high school, like a public high school, you know. Did I ever talk about Cope I on here? I knew so many girls that was pregnant, yo. I feel like I did talk about Cope and on here. And let's talk about how not... How many of them had a baby? Mm. How many? <laughs> Bro, like many, how many? many? No. <laughs> like how many? Then all of a sudden they out for two days. Out for three days. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We know what's going on. Like it's. And, you know, speaking on that, a lot of that contributes to the need for proper sex education in school, proper access to freaking prophylactics. They, know that. they fight me. Exactly. Things. So it's like, what is the point? You want people to have babies and you're not supporting the babies or the but people having the babies. Else, like in this country, that's everything else in this country. Like they'll cut shit. This off, country runs on debt have and the struggle. Same problem with it. It'll have an issue with something, but then cut off the resources for the help. To fix the issue. That is how this country legit works. Mm -hmm. Like getting rid of 
arts programs in un, quote unquote underprivileged neighborhoods. Really? So what, what you want these niggas to do? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But when they out there doing graffiti, I don't lock them up. Mm. Them and that's canvas. the light work. Give them a canvas. <laughs> like, just... it, it, it's really that simple, but I don't know. Yeah, I... no more. Like, any. But the thing about it is that I'm kind of like, mm. it's being proposed. It's not. It was it leaked. Be, it wasn't something that thing. was. Like, yeah. it shouldn't be a thing. Because if you look in the room about who's talking about this, it's a bunch of white ass men. Yep. Like, how the hell are you talking about? This is what I tweeted the other day. I was like, America is definitely a pussy watch man and giving me pussy watch mm-hmm. man energy. Like, how the fuck a bunch of old ass white men? Oh, dirt. 70s, 80s. Go and tell me what to do with my pom-pom. How? How is it possible? Yep. No, bro. No, no. No. Hell Somebody no. tweeted some wild shit and deleted it. They were like, oh, you voted. Like, I get what they were trying to say, but they said it's so wrong. I think it said something like, um, you don't want abortions to be legal until your daughter, your little white daughter gets raped by a black man and gets pregnant. Some dumb shit like wow. that. Wow. And I was like, you see how quick it get thrown back into race. You see how quick that happened? Exactly. Like, but she was trying to say it like, leave it alone. But it's like, girl, why would that be the thing that you come like? Ooh. All this shit connects. Of course, it got All deleted hella connects. quick. And of course, All it was a white woman that said it. Race. Um, sexual orientation, mm-hmm. abortion, all those issues, they're all wrapped up in the same thing and they're all controlled by the same people. But homosexuality is a plot to reduce the population. So <laughs> make it make sense. I don't I don't got much to say with that because I, I can't even blame I can't even say much about the Watts on that one. <laughs> it's really because I've heard black people. Be like, oh yeah, the gays are here, whatever, whatever. To what is it? What's it? What is it? To break up the home, the family standard, you know, all that good shit. Like, who the? What standard do y'all have? Where is y'all standard? Half of y'all come from broken homes. No shade to anybody who unfortunately has come from a broken home. So what are y'all talking about? You can't break something that was already broke, but mm-hmm. like it's broken. Do you know who your daddy is? I do. <laughs> yeah, you see what happens people that don't know who they whatever know. is, and they still want to sit here and be like, "Oh, well, y'all breaking up the home." Oh, okay, shit, they the same ones oh, who got fuck. kids that don't even know them. So, Literally. this is what I'm. This, you understand what I'm saying? But anything to you know how that goes. Yeah, be in that box but... of, of of topics that get shuffled around every now and again. Uh-huh. And get shit in, basically, that's it. Yeah, but I don't know. I just. That topic is so exhausting to me because it's like, and there was this, there was this lady that was protesting. She's like, I'm still protesting this shit. Like her sign What's said that, and I was like, like yo, like, honestly, because I graduated. Okay. Listen, I graduated high school over ten years ago. Like, why is this a topic? Like, and Roe versus Wade was from like before Mabon. Like, why is this a topic? Why? Like, why? Like, honestly, what is the underlying reason for this? Like, somebody bored. Yeah, and America. Y'all want to play people's people lives? Front. America's still watching people front. Mm-hmm. We got so much. Go- I don't understand it. We have homelessness like crazy, rampant. Is, rent is crazy. Gas is crazy. These flights. Have you seen the flights, nigga? I actually flights just booked crazy. a flight today, and I am um, everything. You know, I'm gonna be naked crazy. where I'm going because I ain't people bringing no bag. <laughs> over here at um war, okay. I don't even know what the hell happened with that. Do we know? With the and just stop talking it's about finished? it. Right. Okay. COVID, everything. I, I don't know. It's, it's just That's everything is a hot topic. Yep. Yeah. Everything is happening. And you seem to reach back all the way to worry about abortions and shit. Please. 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 Get can your you stop spraying you like harmful chemicals and hormones on the food so people can sure. actually have healthy lives? No. Oh, America but that that's also a plot to help Big Pharma. Great. I'm telling you. Mm, exhausting. Okay. Yeah, all of it is exhausting. Bad. This I'm is okay. why, for the most part, I live in a bubble and I will sit on my phone with do not do not disturb and play solitaire because I don't want to deal with this shit. Like none of this shit makes I sense. This is not happy. real. Listen, yeah. I be listen, phone on do not disturb in my it's hand, just solitaire. Like, ain't no way this is real. Have to be sometimes. <laughs> like I'm trying to think of like, do you like the you people who are, are hmm. 
I feel like sometimes like they have like you know when people are doing like lot like the jackpot with the balls and they turn mm-hmm. it with the number. Like, I feel let's like pick they a have problem. a list of topics <laughs> and they just turn it and they like, hey, pick one, pick one. Oh, we attacking yep. abortion this time. I feel mm-hmm. like that's exactly what they do. Must be because pie. Pie. like, mm-hmm. how is abortion negatively affecting the United States of America? How? People still having it's, babies. Like it's not stopping people from when they talk about overpopulation all the time. And listen, what's bothering you then? <laughs> like do... they just ain't got shit to do. Like you said, they bored. Like that's they took that shit out the hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I I don't I don't know if they feel like that's gonna stop abortion because. You have to know that where somebody is willing to do something, they will find a way to do it. However, mm-hmm. they need to find a way to do it. There are so, listen, there are so many home remedies that you can find online to quote unquote stop a pregnancy. Okay. And it's like, mm-hmm. listen, I have friends who have been in situations and I don't have to Google how to force your period to start and how, listen, Parsley is your friend apparently. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh God. Like all types of things. Listen, get some fresh parsley and push it in places or eat it excessively. Ah, push parsley in places. Hold on. Listen, it's trees. They be places doing the little, the little steam pot. Listen. Oh, the, just, little, the little thing with the herbs and stuff. And yeah, it. yeah. No, me, me, I'm not true. Somebody still. Okay. Listen, if I'm steaming anything, it's going to be boiling water and water only. It's not going to be. No, and even my, still, I'm not steaming yeah. nothing. Yeah, that one, no, 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 no. This is a prime, <laughs> prime thing. Prime, prime, prime girl all the time. No need no steam. <laughs> you need no steam. Now, if you wonder why I only need all these herbs and spices, you're ready to come <laughs> thing. But not my concern. <laughs> Listen. I feel like this episode should be called proper pussy maintenance because yes, let's talk about proper no, let's not talk about proper pussy maintenance. <laughs> I'm not trying to bash nobody for how many times they've had abortions, but a lot of y'all are in relationships with these men who don't want to use condoms and birth control doesn't work for you and y'all don't like um whatever the hell else. They listen, listen. There are so many options out there to prevent pregnancy. Like if you're conscious about what you're doing, there are spermicides. There are still spermicides that work. Okay. There are diaphragms. If he doesn't want to wear a condom, you can get a diaphragm. You can still get these things. It's like it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I'm sorry. That's not very for the people this who is very this is too yes, much. I don't exactly. like that. Let's just take off the clothes and go. Like, listen, listen get to it. No sperm that nice something. <laughs> Spermicide. Wait, next one, Niamh. They are from everyone. They are from everyone. You catch up in there, not true. Yeah, it's a female well, condom. Yeah. But I, but me here, some people other them thing and the diaphragm come out. Oh, shit. <laughs> what kind of business them? That? Nah. But also, people are wearing condoms that don't fit them and they come off. But that's another story for another time. But, uh, um. Like I said, just take off the clothes and go. You know what I mean? Let's just go. Not everyone is so fortunate. Remember, this is a Caribbean ghetto. thing. Ghetto. It's Caribbean and ghetto. queer. Ghetto. They are. Ghetto. Ghetto. The ghetto. And yeah, then the can't do all them I still get pregnant. What up, Ross? Exactly. Ghetto, ghetto is hell. Ghetto. Listen. Mm. You can get pregnant off a pre cum if your life's a salt. Yeah, like, y'all come to, to death row. No. <laughs> <laughs> y'all come to death row. Not come to death row. <laughs> Not my death row. But y'all come to death row. <laughs> you tired of the sperm swimming in your egg? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, you met me spit out my juice, Rasta. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Nah, oh my dude. gosh! I'm, I'm, not stuck, friend. You know I I'm crying. <laughs> you know I cannot. But Mark, yes. I my drink. Sorry, <laughs> you said come to death row. I thought about the you know the award speech. Just yeah, but <laughs> your face. Mm. Listen, I need to hurry but get your backdrop so we can do video because <laughs> <laughs> they need these visuals. But no, um. There's so many options, but I know at the end of the day, like, no, like a lot of people aren't concerned with that, aren't knowledgeable of that. And 
that's why I say just masturbate. But um, but no, for real though, like shit happens. You could be as careful as you fucking can think of. You could be on birth control. You could use a condom and shit might just happen. And yes, it's a possibility. And I hate when people do the whole, oh, if you're having sex, you should, you, you should know that there's a risk that you can get pregnant. And it's like, bro, like, shut up. <laughs> like, shut it, up. It comes down to education, too, because you got these people, like, these young girls that be having sex for the first time and stuff. They be like, oh, I heard you can't get that in your first time. Why would, why would that make sense to you, jackass? Are you not having know. sex? Because of, because <laughs> some idiot boy tell them so. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm going to just do it with her. Yeah. Okay. And you get pregnant the first time you ever had sex. Salt? Nah, friend, get on her hell. Yeah. So, I mean, like, at the end of the day, like I said, like, Y'all need to do y'all research. Y'all didn't want that life for me. Like that. Just go masturbate. Okay, please. <laughs> like, like, give it a just go, just go masturbate. Get you like something depending on what you into. And for the boys, they are toys. I don't like. I don't know if you like your clip buzzed or your thing. In a, I don't know. Listen, they got toys that do all of it. Okay, I like it and I won. <laughs> you got you got the little G spot stimulator, saying, the little clip you sucker. Got like you the, got the, the hands free. Some people like penetration, so I'm saying some people like both. Some people like the whole, the whole body. Listen, that yeah. Tracy's dog toy, Jesus. Listen. Pointless. 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 Yeah. What the fuck is Tracy's dog? I don't want nothing it's, near my phone that's called Tracy's dog, bro. Like, what are you talking about right now? I gotta pull it up. It's that hands-free shit. Listen, there was an Amazon... <laughs> there was an Amazon... Oh, I got a voice note. There's an Amazon <laughs> review. Anyway, I'm dog. Tracy, You're funny. Dog. You are <laughs> funny. Stop. Uh, um, How much for that? Let note? me pull it up. Like $40? $40. And if you know the right people, you can get it for the free. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which one? I'm trying to find an image. Like this. Can you see? Those that's toys? that one. That's the one that looked weird to me, ain't it? That's the and it shaped. It shaped like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like talking. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. You just Is put your little clit in the hole and it sucks no, on the I clit. Don't, I don't <laughs> put in the hole. <laughs> Honey, what are you talking about? No, Not her laughing all loud in the background. <laughs> Listen, okay, crop back your face in, okay. Put, put your sign up. Laughter. Thank you. Um, friend, like, I'm not putting my clit in a hole. I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna not do that. Literally. Wait, no, but it, it sucks on it. Yes. Oh, see, I don't on. see. Okay, I'm giving you a bit of, too much of my information, but I do not like my clit sucked on. So please, please, not like that. Oh my god! <laughs> no, people stretch out your clit, your clit long from here to Japan. Like, ew, but it's no. not like, oh my gosh, it's not like, <laughs> like sucking, sucking. Like it's just like. <laughs> well, they also have one. They also have one that licks, so it doesn't just suck. And then you know the other part inserts into the vagina. And it vibrates if you want it to vibrate, and you could change the controls simultaneously, have them working, or have one working yeah. when the other one's not working, and Girl. whatever. For me, and for the boys, I, there are toys because you know, just give me a little wine. I just need me a massager from Brookstone. I don't need a massager from Brookstone. Brookstone. I need another Jason one. Little massage from Brookstone boop, boop, on the side, two times. Bat, bat, sleep. That's oh. it. <laughs> Like, I don't need none of that extra shit. Like, come on, son. Like, listen. Tracy dog and stuff. Tracy dog sucking on you. Like, I, I. <laughs> is it like, okay, but my thing is the thing that your um clitoris goes into. Mm-hmm. Is it, what? <laughs> is it like. Do you want me to go get it and show you? No, I, no friend. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> my thing is. I have like two of them. It, because some people have, some women have big clits. This is what I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get educated. Oh, the hole Some women have is, big clits um, and some people have like little itty bitty. The hole is about the size of like my thumb. So you can like, that's what I'm saying. It's not like, like a, like a sucking type of thing. It's just like, it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I'm trying to no. demonstrate. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah. But it has like a um like the inside part of it. Okay. It just moves back and forth. So it's like a sucking motion, but it's not like actually like sucking so, on your clit. My thing is, you know about the rose thing that rose the rose. Yes, clit, I have that too. I know you we know, girl. We have <laughs> 
the whole thing, everyone, everything. So, <laughs> Two of those also. Different styles. Oh, my Lord. Jeez. So you got the one with the long part on it, too? Mm-hmm. What the hell? Okay, but no, so, it's the part that bends, not the just one okay, wand okay. looking one. Yeah, it's the inserts rose, right? and the rose yeah. is a sucker as well, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that does the same motion as Tracy's dog, like the exact same motion, or is it? They have different vibrate speeds and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So, but yeah, I think one of them, the intensity might be a little bit more. Oh, what you call it? Him. She's like, you leave it but, down, and it, just, it just bite at your shit, and it gets gone. Like I don't know, not gone. You might lose a leg though. Like, whew, lord, the Tracy's huh? dog one is low key hands free, so it's kind of like I got uh, the problem when it comes to my nuts. I'm sorry. Oh well. Yeah, because I ain't got time to be bucking shuffling with no damn time. I mean, that's just <laughs> what I'm trying to get, and I, it ain't no game. It ain't no damn game. Like it I'm don't take to long. I'm trying to get to like it. It, it don't take long. That's the new little rule spot for me bedside table. No, <laughs> nah. Me, I'm a Brooks one massage. I'm like, oh, I'm good hey. <laughs> unless unless the woman's would like to, you know. Go through a toy catalog and I'll let something, you know. But toys are good to use with your. Let me know. They don't even have to just be like. I got suggestions. Okay, well, you know who to text. Go ahead and. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah. (laughs) Don't don't text me. Just text her and then she tell me, and then all of a sudden Mm -hmm. end up in the Amazon card. Yes. (laughs) Menu. But yeah, like even if you're not into toys, you got fingers, you got hands, you know. They work. For those of y'all who are open to masturbating, like, why aren't y'all open to masturbating? Free, free carpal tunnel, honey. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we sitting there with your hand cramp up. This by the time you get to 21, you... you, 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 you Listen. <laughs> you better get... Stop. <laughs> and I'll bench up. Get it together. Boy. A little something. That's what I'm saying. Get a little massages for Brookstone. Mm-hmm. First of all, if you don't want to go to like a you know the novelty store or the sex store, mm-hmm. you can even go to little ass. What's the what do they call them in Imala? Spencer's. Spencer's is like a beginner's paradise. Yes, place. like in the back of Spencer's. Listen, yeah. when we was like in high school, listen, mm-hmm. they used to have the little bullet um vibrator. Listen, a little waterproof, but not really because the shit cheap yeah, like as hell. Little black one. Hey, them the shit about the size of your cold. index finger, if that. Them things kick ass though. Mm hmm. Okay, but yeah, you don't got to worry about it getting delivered to your house. You've been to a sex store since we moved, an actual store. No, I haven't been to one. I want to go to one. There's a bunch of them that I pass on the way to work, but you know, we just kind of order. You just got any dicks coming? Yeah, I just be ordered online. It's just be in the mail. That's just Mm -hmm. at this point. Amazon is a faithful friend. Amazon definitely been holding it down. I want some stuff. I need some new dicks for the summer and stuff like that. And some toys. Send me the link. That money. I send up the link. Mm-hmm. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> how Amber. How, I love how we went from negative stuff about women's front to pleasure. I like how we went because from Because at the end of the day, about, like, mm-hmm. if you're having sex and you don't want to have a baby, you're having sex for pleasure and you're looking for a nut. So there are other ways you to achieve said nut. You know they hate that. You know oh Lord forbid! You're not supposed to be Lord forbid! And you know that. Yeah. Anyways, um, it's 2022. Mm-hmm. Own your nut. It's masturbation awareness month. Um, what, what is it? What's the quote? May has come, and so should you. <laughs> oh, okay. Cute. Cute. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> you ain't got to tell nobody. Do it in the bathroom. Do it in the shower. Like if you're scared. You know what I hate? I hate how normal it is for men to masturbate and how taboo it is for women. Like I've said that so many times, but that shit sicks me. Like sick my stomach. I hate that. Like everything else. Yeah. Like everything yeah. else is okay for men to do, but not for women to do. It's everything mm-hmm. else. But once again, because I don't deal with them species, but I do, yeah. I do, I do. You know, I feel bad for the girls and that's going through these things with these. Men. I do too. And the, and the double standard thing. I'm a little manish, but you know, but some but yeah, I gotta be no. fair. <clears throat> no. But what else? What else? anything else that happened this week? I feel like a lot of focus <clears throat> on like was on Roe v. Wade. Mm-hmm. For the most part, not too many crazy things have happened. Yes, yeah, I'm saying it's a bunch of distractions. And this week kind of blaze past because like tomorrow Friday and Yeah. Y'all, we went Listen, to Iggy, right? 
Oh, yes. Talk about it. All Hold on. Right. Before that, before we get to that, this okay. week passed by for me because I've low key been in like a menstruation bubble of fatigue. Hermit. So it's been a lot of sleep <laughs> and misery, mm-hmm. which is one of the reasons why this podcast is late. <laughs> yep. Because, no. Remember how I said I gained back five pounds after my two weeks slack? No. Yep. It was bloated. It was premenstrual oh, okay. bloating. Okay. It was, okay. I've gained two pounds back. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit, then. Yeah, it's listen. Mm-mm. Self-care is important. Please take care of yourself, people. Like, don't be out here trying to kill yourself for whatever the hell. But yep. yeah, no. But um leading up to Igloo, I decided I wanted to shift around my menstrual cycle because birth control allows me to do that. Um, unfortunately, my body don't play them games, and my body said, <laughs> You want to leave this thing in? We still gonna have a period. Who cares? So, <laughs> oh, no. No. yeah. So that's why my week has been like, because mm, I was definitely hoping for it to come like Wednesday, so that mm-hmm. I can like go into the week. I like to have my period on the weekends. Okay, that makes sense. like I'm yeah. in my house. I don't have to do nothing. Listen. Yeah, that's best. Child, this week, like. If it wasn't for the fact that one of my coworkers is on vacation and we just lost like another team member, you would have gone out. Yes, because it's just the two of us in the office. But also Let the fact call. that it's call only out. two of us. <laughs> Shush! You it's only me two. A, you call up your good call out. <laughs> I am coming. It's only the two of us in the office and it's not that much going on. So I was like, it's fine. I could go because I'm going to be chilling anyways. I just have my sweater in my office. Yeah. I'm in that bitch warm and I'm just like, mm, don't talk to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but. Back to um, our weekend festivities. Igloo um, Nation. Not Igloo Nation. Um, so, uh, y'all know we was talking about it for weeks leading up. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we went. Okay. And um, we had a good time. We had a good time. Because we know how to have a good time, regardless. Mm-hmm. Um, and them drinks you know, was we hitting. Have fun in, we have to have fun in the box. The um, facts. Um, should we have a fun now? <laughs> and you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So we we had our you know a nice little blanket, the igloo. We had some. They had made some. What yeah? What was that? Chicken, chicken, some chicken wings. Yeah, and we I made some chicken prayer. wings. Yeah. And then Big Mama had made a little sauce, mm-hmm. but the sauce was beaten. Um, yes, it was. Made some some corned beef sandwich. Mm-hmm. No wait, we had got the corned beef and then we had got some bread, so we brought a whole thing mm-hmm. of bread to igloo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, um, these drinks. First of all, hold made. on. Go I just ahead. want y'all to know, Golden okay. Crust as a bakery. No, continue. They're gonna be first of all. Anybody that listens to this and hear you say Golden Crust should be like, uh-uh, you should have known better. Because we, yes, Crush, I should like, have no. known better. I was looking for yummy hard dough bread. We and... should have grabbed another hard dough bread. I'm so disappointed. Whoever, that's that's yet, why right? I said we could bring the bag because I mean, never even care for bag dash way after that. I never, so like, if I did yummy, but I put some in, I want ziplock bag. I'm bringing. I leave the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, facts. So we got. Let me see. Igloo started around three. We got to igloo around five, five. thirty. Mm-hmm. After the um, trek up that hill. Yes, we trekked from the park. <laughs> Man, listen. Okay, we got in there. Like people like dirt. Mm-hmm. Beautiful black people love to see it. Um, everybody dancing, having a good time. The girls what rolling we- their weed. Yes, love it. Lady smokers love that. Love that. Um, so we got there and it was like we thought we were kind of good because like here I go now, ready to criticize it. Mm. Although we had fun, Atlanta. We got to talk about this music because we walked in at 530. It started at three. So we still were hearing hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. So we were like, okay, cool, bet. We on time. Like, they didn't really start getting into the swing yet. You thought. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like these DJ. we said it already about Atlanta, though. Like, something with the music. They are the catering DJs. to Atlanta, and yeah, I don't understand to Atlanta. it. I heard, I heard so much American music at one point. Like so much Atlanta music shit, in the middle of the shit when everybody lit and trying to dance and trying to this and that and I'm just like my thing is it was also supposed to be band launch first of all there was no soca focus at this thing at all they paid couple soca tunes maybe 10 15 minutes 
while Apparently, the people were up on the stage. On the, in their costumes, I was like, uh-huh. you, you didn't have nobody walking through the crowd, uh-uh. giving like crowd participation with the costume. Uh-huh. People all the way in the back. This is big as hell. It's not a regular party. The only reason I knew people were on the stage was because I was recording and I saw the feather and I was like, oh shit. And I zoomed in. I was like, oh, people up there and I fed a. Mm. It was cool, but I feel like they definitely like everything about it is friggin' perfect. Location is perfect. What you can do, how you can dress, the way you could bring your cooler, you could have your, your whatever, honestly, because the search mm-hmm. no cap is like shit. But anyway, <laughs> what search? Um, I what will never get exactly. searched yet. This is what I'm saying, right? But they just want to make sure you ain't got, got no got gun on beat. you. Florida got them beat. Florida got them beat with the music and the music. Oh, it's just the music. Just take the mm-hmm. Florida igloo music and put in that Atlanta mosh. Listen, mosh. Fet turn up till it turn over. I got to dirt for like two minutes. I didn't yeah. get to let go no birds. No rifle I walk. Get, I didn't get to walk with my rifle. <laughs> okay, I didn't get to, to um fry, stir and fry. I didn't get to mm-hmm. do none of that. They had me doing some old dances. I was bad man foul, yeah. bad man pull up. Pandy river, pandy. Did they even play bogle? Um, I feel like yes. Yeah. Like yes. There's a lot of shit they didn't play. This is what I'm saying. I was just like, I'm glad we know how to have I fun. I didn't even get no real jab jab. I mean, I know it's not a soca thing, but I ain't get no jab jab. I like it should be more of igloo is definitely more of a soca thing than a hip hop thing. Yeah, or definitely. But that's definitely. what I'm saying. Shady Especially gets, no, for wait, fucking band right launch. Here, I'm tired. I'm tired. And I don't I know I, we probably have people that are just like American, like who listen to pointless talks and it's never no shade or no shit like that. But it's a Caribbean it a event. Rest, please. Like, it is a Caribbean event. Rap, 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 rap all the time. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, I don't. I want to, people want to walk up. People want to dance. Like, people want to, you know what I'm saying? Wind up them stuff. I'm here you are. We talking about guns and, and all this shit. I don't want to hear this. Yeah, not at all. And like. I want to, I, I, I mean, at least still wop, wop, wop shit. Like, listen, I like that song. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Wop, 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 that wop, one point, this is people, a soldier boy up in this hole. Hey. Watch out, watch out. People still have the soldier boy. Okay. Lean with it, rock and walk, with it. Lean with out, it, rock out. with it. Walk like, out. Like, I felt, you, were, you heard me. I was like, this. these are the songs they played when I was graduating high school. That's my graduation year songs. Like, I know. For, for, the, um, for the Caribbean community. I don't understand it. And my thing is, like, you said we should go to Rum Punch Brunch Sunday because they're doing a soaker thing. And even that, I because of Igloo, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to waste my time and do that because if I'm disappointed, I'm be really like, I'm really not going to go I was nowhere. At the lineup. Yes. Yeah, people come yes. to places and it's not. And it's not. Mm. I mean, I don't want to talk about nothing about the DJs who's on the lineup. I'm not, y'all. Who was on the lineup at Igloo other than Spooky nope, Boss? Nope, nope, nope. Um, Copper Shot, right? Mm-hmm. And some other person. Hell, some other body, somebody, somebody. We don't even know. That's how you know. And we always love to know who, who is the DJ DJing is where and doing what. Because we going us, we going to look up a mix on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. I need to see what your flow is like. Can you transition? What are you playing? Y'all be, why the hell are you getting somebody? Ugh, I don't know. It was yeah. fun. Though. It was fun. It but was I definitely know. fun. That I'm, I feel like writing a message to Igloo so they can listen, hear my mouth and letting them Dex, know, listen, hmm. time to gatekeep and step your game up. Please. Like, yes, it's in Atlanta, but are you doing it for ATLians or are you doing this for Caribbean people? Hold on. Not even trying to mention. Let's talk about how we were supposed to go to after party and people ended up in their nightsy sleep in. Listen, <laughs> when I come home, I don't like to wear brazier. Right so up. I figured I might as well change it to my mumu because people wasn't going to get off work till well after 10 o'clock. And... I'm going to sit down in the house in jeans and a bra Let me for like two, three you hours. You came out in that piece at night, T. She was like, it's a dub. <laughs> and it was a dub. You went down and you never got your ass back up. We was like, well. But you want to know what happened? That liquor started touching me in a real way. I, listen, mm-hmm. I the grace I got to carry on. And yeah, them, drinks, them <laughs> drinks that she made. Yeah. And my thing was, I decided that I was going to keep myself at a six, seven. Instead of a nine ten, and I'm glad I did it the way I did it. I was nice and elevated and and buzzed, but I was like, you know what? And plus, me in Atlanta, I, in Atlanta, uh, mm. oh yeah, no, I need to be on. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, I play differently out I here. I need to be on what I, I I need to be able to see what's going on, mm-hmm. and, and yeah, I can't just be. I, see, I, I was good until I got home and laid down. <laughs> well, I see people at Igloo, and you could tell they just. Ass yeah, up. I'm like, damn, girl, yeah. 
Oh, Pay shout out to that guy who gave me his weed. Shout out to you. No, thank you so Was much. Was the weed good? <laughs> oh. I don't even smoke. It wasn't better than mine. That's of what course I, not. It was, it was, it, you could tell a little bushy. A little yeah. Because I was looking at like, this shit grainy. What the fuck it's you a little bushy. Dragon? It was a little bushy, but I'm trying to shrug it. And you know, I mm-hmm. mix it up, make it stretch. You know, I put it in a little something, give it a little flavor, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it was so cute. Igloo, Igloo gets a what? Igloo gets like a five out of ten. Okay. What you giving it? I guess I was gonna say a four. Bitch, hello, help him. <laughs> if I was sober, it would have been like less than that. But I oh, think God. the drinks. That's what def- I'm saying. And us <laughs> knowing how to just okay, well, mm-hmm. look, we here, right? So let's do what we do and let's just have a good time. Yeah. I'm gonna pay my money already. I'm gonna enjoy it. So. Yeah. No, last year Igloo was definitely better than this year's. Yes. Year. And also the one that Dex was at was better. Like it's the one so in um, October, the one that you missed. Oh, that yeah. That one was good right? too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were playing like That's Soka and like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that this was one good. was just Minanoa. Yeah, check it, check it. Not true. Maybe it's because it's the first one and I don't know. Minanoa, Minanoa. Yeah. I don't know. Don't you supposed to come out swinging on the first one? I mean, you, you would think. Come out slow, because you ain't gonna have nobody coming back for the second one. Hello. Unless you want American people there. No offense. Oh my gosh! But they don't even. They Did we like, ever talk about American what? wines matter? Did we ever talk about that? I think we talked about that briefly. Yeah, because where's no was it? Did we talk about that? I don't. Me and Annie talked about it on Music Monday. Big up Annie. Did no. Talk- <laughs> no, I don't remember. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. What do you mean by What do you mean by black wines matter? American wines. I'm, I'm sorry, American wines. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm I'm sorry black. Wait. Amer- <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, American wines matter. What do you mean by that? Um, oh, there's God. an American young lady who has started this. Um. It's an Instagram and like a website where it's like inviting um, American people to experience carnival and Caribbean culture. And it. um, She's American? Yes. Um, (laughs) However, I don't I don't want to misquote. I don't know if she's just first generation American, like her parents are Caribbean and she was born here and she considers herself American. That's another subject for another day. (laughs) And then. Or if she's just straight, full, through and through American. Either way, I think Miami Carnival made her an ambassador for them or some shit like that for Miami Car- Either way it goes. She's promoting American people to, you know, indulge in Carnival. Um, so that's why American wines matter. And I'm here to tell you, no, the fuck it doesn't. Bitch. If you are not of Caribbean descent, stay in your fucking lane. Period. Period. Like, I'm not trying Period. to be an asshole, but, like, I can understand, like, if someone brings you and they invite you and, like, you're like, oh, my God, that looks interesting. I want to da 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 But a lot of y'all show up to these events and y'all are complaining about the culture of yep. carnival. Y'all are complaining about, we talked about this before, about the vacation yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. You're complaining about listening to the one kind of music the whole time or the walking and chipping the whole time or you're hot or you're this or you're that or whatever or or, or you come and you feel like it's a hiking expedition and you want to go on an adventure. Go. It's not a race. Enjoy it's yourself. Okay. You're supposed to be there to enjoy yourself With and it. like Hipping. get like let my people go. <laughs> no, seriously. Me, I'm over it. I've been said people is not gatekeeping. I'm tired of saying it. I've been saying it for years. Y'all not gatekeeping strong enough. Y'all like to let everybody in everything. And then when you look, everything fill up with other people and you can't find your own people. It's not. And that's why half of the prices have risen exponentially because, yep. you know, oh, it's so many people are coming sport. now. Sport, exactly. Sport. It is. Exactly. So it's like. Mm. But a car- carnival is not no tourist sport. Like, I'm all for, like, you know, bringing money to these other countries and small islands and whatever the hell the case is. But, like, listen, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Carnival and have nobody, man, come try take me home because we had one little wine. Or somebody's girlfriend upset because I whine on her man. Like, 
please, please, please. I just okay. It stressed okay. me out, Wine like in a real way. Back it up on the yes. people. Yes, the people, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like i don't want to explain to you what they're saying like <laughs> that'd be the one that'd be the one what are they saying oh god what does this mean oh my gosh are they saying Spotify got lyrics now so you better get the hell on listen i just <laughs> american wines matter that shit you know no, i was like american wines like wine suck drinking wine because dick. i would never know i don't wine <laughs> My whole entire dick, like suck my dick. I don't. I'm yes. not interested. I like. And also, if you're a first generation American and you consider yourself American, shame on you. Shame you, on you. <laughs> like you out here saying I'm American and you're not claiming that you know you're of Caribbean descent. Like, oh, my parents are this, but I'm American. Be me, sister. Mm. Really? Are you like? Mm-mm. Nope. <sighs> I just nope. Nope. I just want better for y'all. That's, That's it. what I'm saying. That's I want better for all of us. Not even just y'all. All of us, myself included. Yeah, all of us. I feel like nowadays, like you go to a fet and somewhere and they start playing like American shit. Yo, on a bro glass in there. Like, <laughs> like yo, no, cut it, cut it off. Now, cut it off. Yeah, Stop I'm... it before it even starts. Yo, I wish, man. I wish everybody would come together and realize what the fuck is happening. Like, you in a club, and you know it's a reggae night, soca night, dancehall night. Here go this fucking hip-hop. Everybody say, yo, 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 lock it off. Right yes. now. As, as a unit. Next. 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 Mm-hmm. Boo. Stop. Tomato, tomato, tomato. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing a little hip-hop R&B in the beginning, the Kawama, we get that. We like the little 90s. That, yeah. That, 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 that. Start up. You know what I'm saying? Them new jock kind of something. Mm-hmm. That we like that. But then... Y'all playing that shit throughout the night? Like This is what I'm saying. And and they And you know what the biggest thing for me is? You see everybody is hype on the soca and dance hall, and then you switch to that. Why not keep the momentum going? Not everybody is a DJ, honey. They just press <sighs> You know what? You know <laughs> that though. right. You know that. You are absolutely right. You know because... that. Or they have or they they go on they Serato before this and they and they line up their playlist and they figure, you know what, I'm playing all of this shit. Bitch, read the room. Nigga, skip it. Sometimes your whole shit, your whole set that you plan to gotta be go left because of what is going on. Like people are like, Oh, people feeling mm-hmm. this way tonight. Okay, let's get rid of the hell with it. And you gotta go on spot, but can't everybody go on spot like that? Yeah. They're like, I have this set and I'm gonna play it and they're gonna take it. Yeah. Whatever though. Um Up your standards, people. I'm just saying. That what else I got on here? I think that's all I got to talk about. Um Yeah, we can talk about other stuff later. Um, you got anything else you wanna chip in and me I'm not chipping. I'm me and oh. Um yes, it is as, me. I, no, same thing as always. I get one well, again on to be careful. So I have to mm. tell no. Carnival is the end of this me. month. Full Carnival, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Y'all go? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you don't even know which one. There's one, though, one day I saw, one day I saw. One day I saw, one day I saw, one day I saw, one saw. You know what? I'm only looking forward to SSS Red. When is that? Memorial Monday. Okay, where is that going to be at, though? Where? I don't know. I'll find it. They've been that posting Atlanta, the ad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they do SSS Red for um Atlanta Carnival. Got it. Oh, mm-hmm. ah. yeah. Red okay. is Atlanta. You trying to go? Blue is. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, and you could put ice in your cooler at this one too. Let me find. Listen, did I tell you that it looked like people like fat people? I'll get in that inbox concept. Oh, yeah. Fat fed poor stuff. Go there on the cooler fed. So we have, <laughs> we have found a cooler fetter. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, you here for the SSS? Well, freeze it is. All right. Mm-hmm. Freeze usually provides a good time, though. So. No, nah, no, no, no. That I can say. Freeze and, mm-hmm. and his lineup, them, and whoever else he gets to play with him mm-hmm. usually be on spot. Also, they are oh. from New York, so. Let's not get into that. And he be bringing international DJs, which I love. Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Let's not get into how yeah. the South. Mm. Let's not get into that. Mm. Anyways, big up on the self. Make sure y'all take care of yourself. Like I said, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Make sure you are in tune with yourself the best you can be and 
just being good to yourself whatever it is that you do to make sure you go to a happy place as long as you're not hurting people and neglecting right your actual out, responsibilities meditate. that are detrimental to your daily life <laughs> weed if you need to if that's your vibe listen yes um, don't do crazy take some walks yes Exercise, a little yes something. drink water drink water you know All and just stuff. spread love it's a brooklyn way <laughs> oh, uh, oh boy <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you follow us on all the social media things. Lion Young V on Twitter, yes. Dem Sugar underscore on IG, Instagram, yes, and everything is Pointless Talks, P O I N T L E S S S T A L K S. For all the podcast related things, pointlesstalks.com. You can find all the streaming platforms on the homepage. You can shop Imagine merchandise. All Imagine all of this on a card. <laughs> <laughs> you can um, shop crafts on the crafts page. You can get you an ashtray, yeah. a rolling tray. All that. Other things are coming soon. Um, <laughs> And you can follow our crafts page if you are so inclined on Twitter and Instagram as Pointless Creates, C-R-E, the number 8-S. Um, and, yeah, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, you know, we're going to try and get our life together to get y'all some visuals because I've been getting complaints that y'all want to see us or whatever. Really? Really? Yeah, people have been saying they want us to do video. Listen, people that said they want us to do video. Every night, I know every night me look good enough. Sometimes I look good enough. Me yeah, they don't want to look for me. So, you yeah. listen to me here, do we can't talk? <laughs> they don't put me on a low moment. They'd be like, oh, <laughs> for <laughs> real. I have to comb my hair and turn on the AC in this bitch because it's hot and I look you dusty right me? now. Listen, <laughs> you saw that? They was, you see that? They look dry. Uh-oh. For real. Mm-hmm. 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 Listen, I'm telling for stand up on that. Mm. Anyways. Hell, hell. <laughs> Come in a fright for Teleno. But uh <laughs> yes, make sure you subscribe to us on all the things and interact with us. Oh my gosh. Do you have a good gal of the week? Good gal of the week is me. So See it there. Enough time kinda don't play myself and I mm-hmm. but uh <laughs> No, no, I have two good gals of the week. <laughs> I have two, and I'm not one of two? them. I have right. two. Oh, what you, I mean. you, pointless. Child. You like good gal of the year. <laughs> My big dog, you know that. You like good gal, like, ah, y'all, y'all don't know. She that girl, though. She that girl. Y'all don't know. <laughs> I will know. Okay, just know that, but definitely good gal, like. Oh, well, real thank you. That's all I'm saying. Second good girl is Big Mama, of course. Hey, Gray. Hey. <laughs> okay, I heard that right. Of course, because you know that's my like my honey bun, my little mm-hmm. uh Bonnie and Clyde thing. But y'all are my good girls of the week, year, century. So look at that. You know I love y'all hoes, man. And that's so precious. <laughs> you know I love y'all hoes. You know. But no. okay. Thank you for whatever for, the, for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get off this, lock off this, you know. <laughs> Time to lock you off because I let chips me. I get thrown. Yes, sir. Hello. Anyways, I'm holding up asleep. Come. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um yes y'all funny just like everything else we do over here at pointless talks pointless creates pointless everything um thank you so much for listening to this episode of pointless talks and whether you got here on purpose or by fate jesus that was backwards whoa oh, shit. it's whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you so much for listening to this episode of pointless talks. you know got Bye. me all flustered mm-hmm. <laughs> good girl good girl good night y'all <laughs> <laughs>